Okay, that's a little bit of that. All right, now, let me talk to you about something here, fellas, that may not come up, but it's real interesting shit and it works, all right? All right, sometimes you have uh, a defense like this. Say I got a one uh, and I got a three and the mic's back here. You know what I mean? And you got some weird look where the center and guard, you with me, got to block the mic, but he's behind him. He's behind him, all right? I'll give you another example. Uh, the backside guard and tackle got to block the tackle and the Sam, but the Sam's back here. So you want to do some zone blocking, but you're afraid this guy's going to run through the back door. All right, everybody understand? The ball's going over here, all right, but you got the mic, all right? Now, if it was a wide enough play, a wide enough play, the center can go, everybody can go. But if it was some play that's coming up inside where you don't want to, because that's the center's guy, the mic, all right, we would still do this. I don't see a lot of people doing this. I used to talk about this. I used to try, people try it now. I, if they want to try it, I still might be crazy. But bottom line is, I got a one, and I got a mic that's backside, like that, all right? I, I'll draw this defense here. I got a three, and I got a Sam that's backside, something like that, all right? Now, the point is, what gap do you think this guy's got? All right, the third grade grade. What gap do you think he's got? He's got so if I shove him to the B gap, you with me? There's a hole. What gap does he have? That gap right there, right? So what I do with the center is, you heard Larry talk about it, we would say the, the call we would use between the center and guard is stick. It was just a word, okay? It could be shit, whatever. It could be A, all right? We'd say square A or square stick. And I'd have this center right here move sideways with a high right leg and shove him. Shove him. You can shove this guy, all right? Then this leg was back. You see that leg is back, and as I come up field, that leg is back to intercept that fill. If I just went like this and went like that, that's an uncomfortable block for that guard. He doesn't feel like he's got any help. So what would we, we do is, if you came up here, coach, and I got a one technique front side, okay, what is my rule by a guard? If there's a shade or a gap, mat in the gap, there is no gap. So this way, right. I'm the center. There's the mic backside. Ball is snapped. Okay, all right. Now, as I'm now that I'm more thick about it, I might even move this foot first. But as I go here and I'm working this away, this foot ends up high. See how I'm here? Watch this. I call this a cross shove, and I go whoom. All right. See what I've just done? I pushed him out of his lane. There's a hole right there. This guy's going to fill this gap, but this foot is back. You see what I'm saying? So as I come here, I can come back off. But if I block this guy like this, you see what I mean? You know how they fall back underneath us. You do the same thing for a backside tackle when he's got a three. And, you, and this guard knows he's got him by himself. He uses his hands on his technique because the center's going to shove him back to him. I'm the backside tackle, and I got a seven, and I got a whatever back here. If I go like this, the seven spikes. The backer's holding back, so I just take the backside tackle. The guard moves over. He's a three. Watch my footwork. I got a high leg. I shove up on the backer. There's the hole. Okay? You could do it anybody on the line of scrimmage, right? You got a tackle. He's got a seven technique. You want to help the tight end, okay? But his backer's holding inside. So the tackle would go here, here, but if he goes like this, Whatever. Let me get to the next point here, fellas. And now you.